Hello again. I'm Pastor Rob over at St. Paul's and I'm reading more stories for our kids at St. Paul's from the, the Spark Story Bible from Augsburg Fortress. And for these stories, I've been sitting in our sanctuary again, but not up by the altar where I was for our first few stories. Now you can kind of see the length of the, of the inside of the church where we worship God, which is called the sanctuary. And you can see the big window that's back behind me. It's a pretty window, isn't it? With lots of light and lots of colors. It's really nice. And it tells us about a story from the Bible, which, well, we'll read that story another time. But right now we're going to continue with the story of Mary and her cousin Elizabeth. And you'll remember that they're both expecting babies. Actually, at the end of our last story, Elizabeth gave birth to her baby, who was a son, a boy. Elizabeth and her husband, Zechariah, were pretty old, much older than Mary and Joseph, when John was born. And now we're going to hear a bit about when they named John. This story is called Zechariah. When their baby boy was just eight days old, Elizabeth and her husband Zechariah took the baby to the temple. It was time to give the baby a name. They chose the name John. Shh, Elizabeth said, baby John is sleeping. But Zechariah couldn't keep quiet. Even if John was sleeping, Zechariah had to share the words God gave him with all the people in the temple. Zechariah was so excited that he sang the good news from God. Zechariah's song told about two babies, John and Jesus. First, Zechariah sang about Jesus. Jesus is coming. Jesus will bring a new beginning. Jesus will turn enemies into friends. Jesus will give us the courage to do good things. Suddenly, baby John woke up and began to fuss. So then, Zechariah sang about John. You, John, will be a special friend of Jesus. You will help people get ready for Jesus by baptizing them. You will even baptize Jesus someday. You will share the news far and wide that Jesus will come and help us and care for us. Zechariah's song acted as a lullaby for his son. Soon, John fell back asleep. He dreamed of days that were ahead. Shh, Elizabeth said. Baby John is sleeping. It's time to take him home. So Elizabeth and Zechariah took sleeping baby John back home. What song would you have sung to tell, G to tell about Jesus and John if you were Zechariah? Can you make up a song about Jesus and his cousin John? Well, Zechariah did. It was kind of a song that God gave to him and helped him make up. And then he sang it so everybody could hear it. It told about what Jesus would do and about what John would do. And it, it told us about how important Jesus would be for the world to do things like help enemies become friends and give us the courage to do good things. The song did wake up the baby John. You ever heard a baby cry when it wakes up? It can be pretty noisy. But then sometimes you can sing a song that's soft and sweet, and it'll calm the baby down. The baby will go to sleep again. Well, babies are kind of fun. And I think next time we're going to see another baby born into our story. Can you guess who that'll be? Well, I'll tell you next time. I'll see you then. Goodbye.